Hello guys, welcome to our channel Nota Tech on Tube with a series of videos on uh, international accounting standards and in this video we are going to share a short quiz on IAS 17 which is leases. The questions are as follows, uh, how should the minimum lease payments MLP of a land and a building lease get apportioned? Treat entirely as building? No. Treat entirely as land? No. A portion uh, MLP between land and buildings based on fair values of lease or whole interest. That is the correct answer. Which of the following is not an indication a lease is a finance lease? The lease transfers ownership of the asset to the lessee at the end of the lease. The lease term is for a short a part of the economic life of the asset. The short part is obviously it is for the operating uh, lease, not for the finance lease. Finance lease is normally a longer one. So that would be the uh, correct answer as far as the question is concerned. The lease assets are specialized in nature. Yes, uh, the finance lease are, is, are specialized in nature. The present value of minimum lease payments amounts to substantially all of the fair value of the asset. That is, all, uh, that is the basic uh working on a finance lease so the second option is the correct one when a lease transfers substantially all the risk and rewards of ownership to lessee this is called an operating lease this is called an operating this is called an operating lease uh, yes uh, yes 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 it had no, it won't, substantially all the risks and rewards of ownership to let's see this is called sorry a finance leader because a higher purchase agreement is more like a higher purchase agreement and when you just uh, in most of the countries obviously but uh, finance lease actually it's a transfer all the risk and rewards of ownership to let's see and operating leases are mostly short term agreements lease payments should be split into an interest component and expense component false it has the needs to be split into an interest component and a capital component how should the minimum lease payments mlp of a land and building lease get apportioned treat entirely as building treat entirely as land apportion mlp between land and buildings based on fair value of leasehold interest a portion MLP MLP between land and buildings based on management's judgment that's not the correct answer the third one is the correct answer what type of lease is presumed when the present value of minimum lease payments is approximately equal to the fair value of the lease assets what type of lease is presumed what type of lease is presumed when the present value of minimum lease payments is approximately equal to the fair value of the lease assets whenever there is a payments involved you need to consider it as a finance lease so that is the correct answer so the payments over the lease term uh, the lessee can or must make is called the payments over uh, the lease term uh, the lessee can or must make is called minimum lease payments. Uh, IES 17 assumes a lesser will not recover their asset which is leased under a finance lease. IES 17 assumes a lesser will not recover their asset which is leased under a finance lease not a correct assumption because uh, in a finance lease all the risks and uh, rewards are transferred to the owner of a uh, of a lease asset so to the uh, to the lessee so there is the false statement oh my god why it treats as a lease asset pay payments receivable rather than a tangent tangible lease asset it assumes the lessee will retain the asset at the end of the period and the lease term is for the useful life of the asset okay so that is not uh, that's in front of you have done it incorrectly which of the following is not a disclosure requirement for finance leases 
carrying amount of asset is a requirement market value of an asset is not a requirement general description of significant leasing arrangements is a requirement and a reconciliation between total minimum lease payments and their present value is not a requirement so market value of asset is not a requirement finance leases are accounted for in a similar manner to credit transactions transactions cash transactions sale and lease back uh, agreements and loan forgiveness it is the credit transactions okay in a similar manner to credit transaction because uh, normally it is when you just uh, take as a finance lease any asset is uh, treated uh, as a liability in the books of a lesser and uh, when it is a liability okay uh, the uh, the asset uh, would be credited and uh, the payments receivable would be debited as an asset in the books of uh, the lesser so in the uh, book of uh, the uh, lessee obviously the asset is being treated so let's see what it's all about yes and in, in an operating lease if a rebate is received how should it be recorded in the financial statements uh, treat as deferred income and lead release to uh, profit and loss over the lease term that is the correct option recognize immediately as income no uh, because if a rebate is received it means you have received a discount so a discount would be an income but it would be a deferred income to be received in the future and it would be released over the lease term and profit and law and profit and uh, loss statement uh, de deduct from the value of the lease payments and ignore it must be the first one so uh, a leased asset should be depreciated over the shorter of the lease term and the assets useful life that is the uh, yeah whatever is shorter one the lease term or the assets used for life would be the lease asset would be depreciated as such okay that is the correct answer in a land lease if a if title does not uh, pass at the end of a lease to the lessee it is normally treated as because normally all the risks and rewards are transferred over to the uh, to the lessee uh, and along with the title uh, in, in case of a finance lease if not uh, uh, then it would be an operating lease that is the correct answer so we have uh, done uh, 13 out of 14 questions correctly so the result is in front of you so it's about IAS 17 leases so I'll going to end up my video I'll just share up uh, the coming quiz uh, as soon as possible so keep liking uh, subscribing sharing and commenting on the videos so that uh, we can provide you with the more uh, insightful content thank you very much take care and have a nice day